Hi everyone, welcome back to this video tutorial series on using TDD with PHP Storm and PHP Unit. My name is Sean Gorsh, and in this video I'd like to follow up on what we talked about last time with our last commit and talk about some advanced tools we can use for some different types of unit tests. So what I'll be talking about in this tutorial is a tool called Codeception. Now Codeception is an acceptance testing tool which also allows unit functional and unit testing which has an emphasis on checking whether the interface is exactly as you think it should be. So when I add a user, what happens on screen? That sort of thing. Now, you might be familiar with testing tools that are in the JS community, like Mocha, Karma, uh, Testacular. There are so many different test runners out there. And it's perfectly fine to use those tools. But sometimes you're using PHP, and you want to be using a tool in PHP to test PHP. So that's where Codeception comes in. It's a useful tool for testing your frameworks as well as testing your user interface. So you don't have to have two different sets of tests, one in JavaScript and one in PHP. You just have PHP. So hopefully that kind of clears things up. So, so we've got this tool here, but how do we install it? Well, as I mentioned earlier, the best way to add a dependency is to go under Tools, Composer, Add Dependency. And here we can start to select what package we want to add. So in this case, we'll search for Codeception. We can see that there are different Codeception packages. The one we want is here. The other ones are forks. We can select a version to install. So select 2.0.0 beta, go to install it. And it'll give you this window here saying require these files. Now we're getting an error message. Now what does it say? It says that it needs to have 4.0 or above in PHP unit in order to install. And if we head back over, to our composer.json file, we'll notice that it's requiring three point latest. So we actually need to upgrade this one. So we'll go to, so once again, back in the composer.json file, we need to make sure that the PHP unit version is correct. So to do that, you can find that the version is three dot star. So we need to change that to four dot star or simply star. So what that'll do is it'll get the latest PHP unit version and we can update as you would expect. So go C, update, and do all that stuff. I've already done it earlier because I was troubleshooting. And it'll update the dependencies for required dev, which are for development, as well as for normal requirements. And so it removes some fo some folders. And now I had to try to install code section, so I removed that, which is awesome. And now we're going to redo that just so I can show you. So once again, you go to um, Tools. Composer, add dependency, and it'll give you a list of all the dependencies. And this is where we can add our Codeception tool, which is right here under Codeception slash Codeception. Click on that, install 2.0.0 beta, and it'll grab that from the repository from GitHub. You can see that it's going through and uh, installing the right packages. So successfully installed Codeception. And go close, and if we go under a vendor folder, you can see that Codeception is added. It has added it as part of the command line or that's the next step actually. So now we've got our Codeception installed. All right, so now that we've installed Codeception, we need to configure it in the IDE. To do that, we can go back to our settings menu, press Control-Alt-S or command comma to enter settings. Next, go back to your command line tool support window. Here we can create another um, command line tool, which in this case, I'll remove what I already had, and I'll just go to create a new one. And under this, this time we are going to choose custom tool instead of composer tool. Go OK to make it project visible. This time we're going to create a tool path. And I'll create it under the project file directory, vendor, bin, and code set up bad. And you can verify that that, that exec, 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 executable exists under there. We can create an alias, which in this case will be CC for Codeception, which is our shorthand identifier. We can call it Codeception command line tool. And once we're done this, we can just go OK and go apply. And all should be well. Now we can go back into our command line tool console and go CC bootstrap. And so what it'll do is it'll ask us what kind of project we are working on, what the kind of tests we'll be doing are. In this case, I will choose a developer. So I'll type in number five. Now it just creates some files for us, the basic code section uh, unit tests are in this folder now. So at, like we had in our um, in the beginning, we had a tests folder. This added to that test folder. Now we have a folder for unit tests, for functional tests, and for acceptance tests. These are three different types of tests. And we can still verify that our testing is working in PHP unit by simply running our tests again. 
you can see if there is a problem in it so we see that PHP unit cannot find PHP unit is no longer in our vendor so we'll take a look at what's going on there all right so it looks like the uh, loaders have conflicted now and the best way to fix this is to manually set the location for the PHP unit tests so to do that head on over back to your settings and once again in this area underneath PHP there's a PHP unit tab and here we need to set it to a custom loader and here's where we can set the location of the PHP unit file which is just located under PHP unit slash PHP unit under your vendor folder so press OK go to apply now try to run the tests again and you should be all good to go so we can see here that our tests are passing again we're getting a little bit of a strange error but nonetheless our tests are passing so we're good and so now we can continue to use our codeception tool so in the next video i'll talk about the ways that we can run our codeception tests and create new unit tests uh, for both functional and and integration tests as well as acceptance tests within codeception